Okay. So, on Ghost Valley 1, it's the first interesting scenario. As you see, I made a stupid crash in the lead, but I got a feather. It should be put me right behind Koopa. And I get the red shell and he gets the banana, but he trumps me. So, that's a really uh, nice move from Garo, because, of course, if you have a banana and the opponent is a red shell, you're uh, likely to lose out. Didn't happen, okay? So that was one thing. Um, let's see what else is interesting. I guess we could sh show the entire CI1 race. Okay, here we go. So, a great shot from Garo with the green. Not sure what he was trying with the banana there. I guess he was uh, counting on me getting a mushroom and blocking the long boost spot, but that cost him dearly. And I'm gonna do the mushroom anyway, as you can see. And so is he. So he's right on my tail. I'm making the long boost go all the way until the next lap. And uh, that made me win the match. That was a really good long boost. It carried me uh, for almost two full laps. Actually more than that. One full lap, I mean. So next is Ghost Valley 1. Something very cool happened there. If I recall. I won't spoil it yet, but you'll see in lap 2. So if you don't get the zoom start with Bowser, and the other opponent, uh, the opponent is a Koopa player, of course uh, you could have a tough match against you. And there it is. Smack on the head. The banana throw, that wins me the match here. Hitting the zipper and throwing the banana on the head. It's a bit lucky of course, but I did aim for it. What else do we have? TP2, BC2. BC2 was pretty cool as well. Sorry for skipping most of the matches, but a lot of it is just uh, normal... Uh, s well, I wouldn't say uninteresting matches, but... Just uh, your regular matches. I tried to hit him with a snooker green, didn't work. He's got a banana now, so he should be cautious. He already dropped it though. Tried to snipe him again with the green, didn't work. Struggling to maintain full speed. And there is DK with the troll. I really hate it when the computer takes that uh, pattern, that route, through the block section. Because they always come out swerving wide and hitting you. It's really, really hard to dodge. But the feather brings me back into the match, I land in front of him. He crashes, but I hit the wall and that makes me overshoot. So this is a really <laughs> close combat, he tried to uh, drop the green in my face. I made a mistake there, not picking up the item. Oh wow, <laughs> great move from Garo. Bowser was of course gonna outrun Koopa on raw speed, so he had to do something, he hit the zipper, smacked into me, and then we both stopped, but his superior acceleration made sure that he could win this race, so that was uh, really interesting. Taking advantage of picking Koopa there. Then we have MC3 where there is a red cell scenario in the next lab I believe. Yeah. Ah, here it comes. I crash against the pipe, because I had to dodge DK, but it was still stupid, because I had such, so much of a lead. And DK is in the way again, so now I'm gonna have to dodge the red, which I did. 
thankfully. And now I should be home free. DK almost dropping a banana on my head as well. Definitely had it in for me there. And that's it. Carol couldn't make a, a comeback with the green. This red should have been a hit. If he wanted to win that one. So nothing happens with Kukovich once. Yeah, let's see. Oh yeah, Bowser Castle 3 is the next race that was really, really interesting. Here we go. So now something happens that I've never seen before in SMK. It's later on though. And it involves both players going for the feather shortcut at the same time. And uh, Bowser's extra weight will come in handy. Koopa tried uh, the wall right there. At least Carol did with Koopa. To touch the red, but it's harder in uh, Grand Prix than in uh, battle mode. <laughs> But he gets uh, his revenge with the red shell. And pushes me into the wall, nice move. With the zipper. It's the only scenario uh, where Koopa can push Bowser around, is if Bowser is at low speed. And Koopa has the extra momentum from the zipper. So now I have the feather. And Garo knows he needs one too. So he's gonna stop at the items and also he has the feather, so here we go. And both are ballsy enough to go for it. And actually just collided into him as he was executing the feather. Which pushed him into no man's land. And somehow I still made the jump. That was uh, such a troll move I suppose. Though honesty... Uh, in all honesty I should say that um, I did not intend to push uh, Koopa off. I just wanted to make the shortcut myself. But that was pretty cool. Yeah, well.